In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to download, install, and then connect to the Iron Realms games using Mush Client. All right, first thing I need to do is go get Mush Client, and I'm going to go to www.gammon.com.au to get it. All right, so from here, once I get to the page, I'm going to click on Download Mush Client. That will bring me to the download page. I want to get the latest version, and there's this nice little green box here. I will go ahead and click on that. Uh, I've actually already downloaded it ahead of time just for sake of time. So I'll save over that really quick. And as you can see, I've got it listed here in my client. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shrink my client. I saved it to my desktop here. So I will just double click there. All right, and that's going to start me installing the program. First is a license agreement. I agree with that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the typical installation options and then I'm going to install it in the default directory that it has listed there. Bang, it begins to install. It's all done. I click close. It's going to say, hey, do you want to launch me? I'm going to say, heck yeah. All right, and there we are. There's some tips here. I don't want to see those every time. If you do, great. I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right, now this first thing I'm going to do to connect to my game is I'm going to click on either the New World button right here or I can click on file and click on new world. Okay, so I'm going to click on the new world button. Do I want to use this from an existing world? I, I don't have an existing world, so I'm going to click no. All right, so from here, my world name in this case is Achaia. You can put whatever you want in the world name. It's just something so that you can remember which world you're connecting to. Um, you can put Achaia, Empyrean, uh, chicken, whatever helps you remember that that is your world name, okay? In this case, I'm just going to use Ikea because it's easy. All right, I'm going to put Ikea.com uh, for my TCP IP address, all right? Um, you can put whatever game you want to connect to there. Ikea.com, Empyrean.com, Atolia.com, MedkemiaOnline.com, Lusternia.com, whatever, whatever you're interested in connecting to. For all of those games, however, the port number is not 4,000, it is 23. So if you're going to connect to Ikea.com, make sure you change it to port 23. If you want to connect to any of the games, change it to port 23. Okay, I'm going to say I want to save the world uh, automatically on close. And that's all I need to worry about. Don't worry about the proxy server. Don't worry about this big long menu on the left. You can always come back to that and make some changes as you learn how to use the client a little bit more. All right, so that's all I need. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. All right, and bang, it already started to uh, launch me right into the game. Uh, from here, I just can I can type in my character name down here in the in the text area, and it'll start the login process for me. So, in a nutshell, that is how to download, install, and connect to one of the Iron Realms games using Mush Client. Uh, once again, I highly encourage you to download a third-party client. If you're still using Nexus or Flash, that's great. And if you find that they are working for you, go ahead and continue to use them. If you are starting to get to where you are interested in making some more powerful settings, then a third-party client is great for that. You can save the settings on your computer. Uh, you're going to be able to create very powerful triggers and aliases. And the interface uh, with these third-party clients for managing and creating um, you know, more powerful settings is going to be much better on these clients. Uh, at any rate, if you have any questions about the clients, uh, how to use them, uh, or, or anything else like that, go ahead and ask on our forums and we will happily help you out.